what's been the impact really for, uh, for sugar companies and how big is this opportunity? Well, this is certainly um, some good um, uh, demand uh, for export. However, you know, Indian sugar is only uh, uh, in demand in countries like Somalia, Ethiopia, Sri Lanka, and the Middle East. And currently, uh, over the next six to seven weeks, we, they are, these countries are overstocked. So unless that pipeline gets cleared, um, Indian exports won't happen. Uh, so let's see, I mean, we are a bit optimistic. A uh, couple of, uh, two months down um, the line, uh, we hope that some amount of sugar will be exported out, which is very uh, important for us because we have a lot of uh, production coming in and stocks are also mounting up and we need uh, some bit of sugar to get out of the country in order to stabilize the domestic prices. So there is an advantage um, currently because I think... Um, uh, you know, on about 25 to 30 dollars uh, compared to the Brazilian sugar, we have an advantage for exports of whites and raws. Sure. Uh, I understand, ma'am, that this, is, this oversupply situation is a global phenomenon where we're looking at a glut of over 10 million tons, uh, 10 million metric tons, that is. Uh, how do you expect production to pan out and how do you expect uh, prices to play out? Well, prices uh, will remain weak for a bit because Brazil is, uh, you know, they've also gone through the devaluation process just like India. So they are extremely competitive. But um, in, uh, despite all of that, I think there is an opportunity for India to export some quantities. I wouldn't say huge quantities, but some quantities to uh, the countries that I mentioned, you know, Sri Lanka, Ethiopia, Somalia and the Middle East. Uh, most certainly, yes, it is an opportunity for uh, Indian millers. I understand that there is also a proposal to uh, increase the, the ethanol blending to 10% from the current 5% uh, to oil marketing companies. What is the opportunity there? Do you see this playing out? Well, uh, you know, it does benefit the sugar industry because it adds that extra um, value to, uh, to the uh, ethanol and uh, the, uh, uh, the alcohol that we produce. So those millers that have uh, uh, the flexibility to produce ethanol in their distilleries definitely will make a difference for Rajshri sugars. Certainly, it makes a difference. However, the problem is that uh, the oil companies uh, are simply not lifting in time. There seems to be great hesitation from the oil companies to support this. You know, for us in Rajshri Sugars, we have um, a state-of-the-art uh, distillery um, that can uh, produce uh, all kinds of alcohol because ethanol definitely adds value to, uh, to any, um, the bottom line and, uh, I mean, the top line of any uh, uh, sugar factory now.